In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, Graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. Like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered. In his zeal, he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word, he shut up the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds! whose glory is equal to yours. You brought a dead man back to life from the netherworld by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke their power into pieces. You brought down nobles from their beds of sickness. You heard threats at Sinai, at Horeb, avenging judgments. You anointed kings who should inflict vengeance and a prophet as your successor. You were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in the time to come, to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers toward their sons, and to reestablish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you, and who falls asleep in your friendship. For we live only in our life, but after death our name will not be such. O Elijah, enveloped in the whirlwind, then Elisha, filled with a twofold portion of his spirit, wrought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime, he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power. Beneath him, flesh was brought back into life. In life, he performed wonders, and after death, marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord. You just rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Fire goes be before him and consumes his force round about. His lightnings illumine the world. The earth sees and trembles. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the things of naught. All gods are prostrate before him. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Please stand. Hallelujah, 
You have received a spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Friends, sisters, and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat na naririto sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Perhaps ang iba sa inyo ay galing pa sa malayong lugar at talagang sinadyang magpunta dito sa Manawag for a very definite or particular purpose or intention. Ating narinig sa Ebanghelyo ngayon ang model of all prayers which Jesus our Lord taught His disciples at Ganun din palagay ko ang ginagawa sa ating pagdinig ng Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito. Paano nga ba tayo natutong magdasal? Uh, makikita natin ito sa ating kwento, sa ating mga cert, uh, personal stories of how we... Hindi naman kasi tayo pinanganak na marunong na magdasal, di ba? In other words, uh, the value that we put in prayer comes from the people who nurtured and nourished and taught us. Kaya ating babalikan kung paano tayo natuto mag, uh, magdasal, I think it's the same no? para doon sa mga nagtuturo ngayon sa mga bata. And if you can validate your my experience with your own experience, uh, sa palagay ko, in my own experience, simple lang naman ang natutunan ko even before the sign of the cross, which is the most simple, di ba? Uh, kadalasan ang experience ng isang bata o ng isang paslit na uh, wala pa sa reason, hindi pa alam kung ano kanyang ginagawa, is food on the table. Kadalasan sasabihin ng mga magulang o ng mga nag-aalaga sa kanya, o oh, let us thank Papa Jesus for the food that we have on the table. And the child, you will see, kahit na one, two, oh no, two, three, four, before being school, put in the school, makikita niya, why is there food on the table? It is something that I like. It is something that I need in order to grow up. <clears throat> so sasabihin ng mga matatanda sa kanyang paligid, we thank Papa Jesus. Di ba? Even before the concept of God comes into the picture, it is always... Uh, that thing that the child experiences. Food, clothing, a roof on top of his head, etc. So in other words, uh, sa experience o karanasan ng bata, nakikita, unti-unti, pinapakilala kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng God o ng Diyos. Sabi nga ng isang pari namin, values are not taught, they are caught. So nakikita yan ng mga bata. Kaya nga, 
uh, dito sa Manawag, kadalasan ang mga bata ay isinasama. So there is a future for the devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary. Sapagkat bit-bit ng mga magulang ang mga bata. Di ba? So siguro nagtataka yung mga bata, nagtatanong, ano ba itong ginagawa natin nanay, tatay, di ba? Kahit hindi na explain o ipaliwanag sa bata ang kanyang ginagawa, nag-imprint siya sa isip ng bata. Nagpunta kami sa isang malayong simbahan, nagtiri kami ng kandila, nagdasal, lumuhod, etc. Di ba? Kaya nga merong isang experience o kwento yung isa sa amin. Meron siyang naingkwentrong bata who grew up in an orphanage run by the government. Eh usually kapag ka it is a government facility, walang religion, walang concept of religion. Basta aalagaan lang yung mga orphans, mga walang abandoned children. At uh, ito ay mga siguro 3 or 4 years old. So wala siyang concept ng Diyos o ng Jesus. So nung isinama daw doon sa sapagkat nagkaroon sila ng excursion, sinama sila sa isang magandang simbahan. Pagpasok nila sa isang simbahan, napakalaki ng crucifix. At uh, atigilan yung bata. Nakita niya yung napakalaking crucifix na merong nakapakong tao. Sabi ng bata, nangingiyak, mangiyak-ngiyak siya. Sabi niya, what did he do? Why, why is he there? Diba? So makikita natin, the human quality of that child, no one was teaching him, anong ginagawa, anong ginawa sa kanya? Anong ginawa niya? Bakit siya pinarusahan ng ganyan? So, in other words, likas doon sa bata, kung ano yung tama o mali. May ginawa ba siyang mali? Doon sa orphanage facility ng gobyerno, right and wrong lang. Pero there is no concept of what or who God is. Diba? So, hindi alam ng mga facilitators kung anong i-explain doon sa bata. Kasi he was disturbed, he was anxious. What did he do? Bakit siya nandyan? Bakit siya nakapako sa cruz? Perhaps uh, it's going to be traumatic for the child when, while he was growing up. Diba? Ulang concept or knowledge of who God is. Kaya sometimes we take for granted diba, kung paano nga ba tayo nagdarasal. Lalong-lalo na tayo, pumunta tayo dito sa Manawag. Ating babalikan ang ating karanasan or experience when we were growing up. Uh, siguro, saan ba natin na, na, natutunan ang pagdarasan? Di ba sa ating mga magulang at sa mga tao sa ating paligid? I think, nagiging sophisticated na lamang ang ating pakikitungo or our relationship with God as we grow up. Natuto tayo magdasal ng rosaryo, natuto tayo magnovena, Natuto tayo tungkol sa mga buhay ng mga santo, etc. But at the beginning, it was just about food on the table. Kaya nga, ang turo sa atin ng Panginoon sa Our Father, that is the model of all prayers. Simulan mo sa Our Father. Diba doon din sa ating responsorial sum or sa uh, invocation sa gospel, we cry out, Abba, Father. Sometimes that is all that we need. Kasi kung kahit dadasalin natin ang Our Father ng maraming beses, it's still the same as what the Lord said. Do not use too many words. Sapagkat alam na ng Panginoon kung ano yung ating mga pangangailangan. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin nung din tayo magdadasal, di ba? Yung mga nagpupunta dito sa Manawag, kung inyong mapapakinggan ang kanilang mga istorya, it's just uh, amazing. No? Uh, like for example, yung isa kong kaibigan, sabi niya, Father, Yung kapatid ko po, uh, maaring pinagmilagruhan ng mahal na birhen. Sabi niya, maari. Ba, hindi ka naniniwala? Sabi ko, hindi naman, Father. Kaya lang talagang it's something that is uh, so unbelievable, sabi niya. Sapagkat na-diagnose or nakita na yung kanyang kapatid na babae ay merong mayoma ba yun? Basta tungkol sa, sa matris niya, eh ayaw niya magpa-opera. Kaya sabi niya, uh, ipipilgrimage na lang ako sa Our Lady of Manawag, tapos titingnan ko what is going to happen. After several months, nung nagpatingin siya uli, sabi nung doktor, anong ginawa mo? Kaya, wala na, wala na yung traces o wala na yung markers ng kanyang sitwasyon sa kanyang ovary. Sabi niya, uh, natigilan siya, ayaw niya sabihin din kasi siyempre it's a very personal matter yung devotion niya, niya uh, Doc, nagpunta lang ako sa Manawag but the doctor is also a devotee ah, ganun ba? sabi niya ganun 
Kala nyo yun ang milagro? Hindi. Nabuntis pa yung kapatid ng kaibigan ko. Nabuntis pa. So, in other words, hindi lang yung nawala yung kanyang sakit. Nagkaroon pa siya ng baby. Kaya nga nung lumabas yung baby yun, kahit ngayon, palaging kakabit ng kanyang salaysay, ng kanyang storya. Ito po yung anak ko, Father. Ito yung hindi ko naman hinihingi. Pero kasama doon sa aking paggaling. Well, there may be a scientific explanation to that. Maaring nawawala rin talaga yung kondisyon ng kanyang ovaries. Pero it is something for the books, di ba? Parang... And that is why when, when she tells these stories, eh di iba ganun din, nai-inspire din sila. Kung meron silang mga pangangailangan sa kanilang buhay, meron silang mga binibit-bit o dinadala, which is quite significant and heavy, they would come. Come here to Manawag. At um, alam niyo doon sa likod sa kamari ng mahal na birhen, um, may mga, mga papel, mga sulat ng mga testimonies ng mga devotees. Nagpapasalamat o may hinihingi. At uh, pagka binasa niyo ang iba doon, pagingilabutan kayo sapagkat uh, you will also be inspired. No? In other words, this place uh, beckons. Why? Uh, di ba? Manawag nga ang biring nananawag o tumatawag. Why? Di ba? It, the image of a mother, but the same as the image of a father, di ba? Kapag ka tayo ay tinuturuan, sino ba nagtuturo? Siyempre, yung tatay, nagtatrabaho. It's also the mother, di ba? Nag, oh, wag yan ha, magagalit sa'yo si Papa Jesus. Pagka ganyan, oh, behave, di ba? Sometimes there, it is, we are uh, the child na tututuri ng fear because of that. O oh, ayan, tingnan mo si Jesus, o oh, nakapako sa cross. Pagka gagawa ka ng hindi mabuti, He remains on the cross. And things like those. Um, That is why perhaps, uh, ano ba ang ating pakay? Ano pa talaga ang ating objective sa pagpunta dito? Ang layo-layo pa ng pinanggalingan ng iba? How do we communicate with God? Ano ba ang ating relationship? Dahil ba may hinihingi tayo? Eh, di ba sabi nga ng Panginoon eh, God already knows what we need. So is there a need pa, pa for prayer? Alam niyo si Khalil Gibran, isang poet, ang sabi niya, You talk when you cease to be at peace with your thoughts. And when you can no longer dwell in the solitude of your heart, you live in your lips. And sound is a diversion and a pastime. And in much of your talking, thinking is half murdered. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? It can be applied to our own prayers. Perhaps we can ask, does our prayer become a defense against knowing ourselves? Di ba kilala naman natin ating mga sarili? Tayo mismo, we know who we are other than how other people know us. But also, how God knows us. Perhaps God knows us more than we know ourselves. Di po ba? God knows us in our Fears, our needs, frustrations, hopes, sins, and dreams. God knows us more than we really know ourselves. So why waste so many words? Diba? Bakit kailangan pa ba nating magsalita? It is enough that we sit in His presence or come to this place and not say so many words. With minimal or no words at all, and with maximum silence. Walang sasabihin. Expressing our love and our needs with wordless words. Mga salitang walang salita. Maaring it is a, a paradox. Pero ganun daw talaga ang nangyayari. Kapag kami namahal mo ang Diyos, pagkakilala mo, what? your position or what your place is in front of a supreme God, an almighty God. Creator, isa lang ang creator, creature lang tayo. So, dapat huwag kang maabala, huwag kang mag-alala, huwag kang mababalisa. You are in front of God. Ganun din daw kasi kapag ka mayroon kayo minamahal, ba, mag-irog o nag-iibigang uh, 
babae o lalaki ang tatay o nanay, hindi nila kailangan ng maraming salita. Di po ba? I don't know if that is also your experience in your own life. If you are with your loved one, you don't need many words. Sabi nga ni Santa Teresa de Avila, the experience of God is like being in a dark room, very dark room. But if you know that God is there, then there is no reason for us to be afraid or to be anxious. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. Ang isasagot po natin sa mga petition ay Abba, Father, hear our prayer. Abba, Father, hear our prayer. Ilakas po natin, ha? That, right? yeah, okay. that the Church throughout the world may always express a deep trust in the coming of the Father's kingdom of love, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, Father, hear our prayer. That amid life's, dif life's difficulties, we may not give up praying and never give in to temptations. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, Father, hear our prayer. That we may have sufficient bread to meet our daily needs and the greatness of heart to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, Father, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who care for them may encounter God in their daily sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, Father, hear our prayer. That the dead may meet the Lord's face to face in His eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, Father, hear our prayer. Sabi pa po ng Panginoon, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am with them. Ang dami po natin ngayon sa oras na ito, sa araw na ito. Uh, there's nothing wrong with praying for our own particular intentions, but perhaps we can change our approach just for today. Instead of praying for our own, perhaps we can pray also for the people around us and their intentions. Uh, and they also will pray for your own intentions. For all this we ask, Abba, Father, Abba, Father hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways and to accept your will in our lives. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, which earth has given, and human hands have made, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread, this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please Let stand. us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body and spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sagot po kayo ng malakas, ha? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it on you. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Pinagpala ang naparirito Sa ngala ng Panginoon O sana, o sana Sa kaitasan O sana, o sana Sa kaitasan Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other Christ's sign of peace. Sa pong lahat, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, sins the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, sisters, and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while for the announcement. The Mary Help of Christian Seminary System is inviting all young men in high school, college, or young professionals to consider a vocation to be a priest for the service of the Archdiocese of Lingayen Dagupan. A vocation to the priesthood is a special grace not given to all men. It is great blessing for a family to be able to offer a son or brother to be a priest. Those who are interested to enter the seminary are invited to approach any of the priests in the parish who will gladly assist them in the seminary admission requirements. Let us beg the Lord to send more priests to his vineyard in Lingayen Dagupan. Let us now prepare to receive the final blessings.
Please stand. So once again, dear friends, sisters, and brothers, fellow pilgrims, thank you very much for visiting Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad. Uh, pagkatapos ng ating pilgrimage, perhaps tayo ay maghihintay kung ano bang isasagot sa atin ng mahal na birhen sa ating mga panalangin. At sana, ang simula ng ating hope, ng ating pag-asa na tayo ay sasagutin according to what we intend, sana ang simula niyan ay peace of mind. Hindi muna yung kung ano talaga particular yung ating hinihingi, kundi pag-uwi natin, we are hoping that indeed God is going to heal us, God is indeed going to help us in our board exams or whatever it is that we are asking the Lord through the intercession of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. So sana panatag ang ating kalooban sa ating pag-uwi at pagbabalik sa ating mga pinanggalingan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At kagaya ng pagbati ko sa inyo ng the Lord be with you, pakibati rin ang mga tao sa inyong paligid ng the Lord be with you bago tayo muwi. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Let us now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of religious articles and rosaries. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh.